planet Earth. Life has thrived here for billions of years. Quite recently, only a few hundred thousand years ago, we humans came into existence and mastered life like no other species. We have always strived to understand our environment. For example, Eratosthenes measured the size of the Earth more than 2000 years ago. Advances in technologies have led to more precise measurements and have provided the base for modern society. Weather balloons are a classic way of making measurements at high altitudes. Nowadays we have satellites which have revolutionized the ways we can sense planet Earth. Today we face new challenges of utmost concern. I'm sure you have heard about global warming, ozone holes and melting ice caps. Floods and droughts. There is an ever-increasing need for reliable data to understand how planet Earth is developing and changing. And this is the purpose of this course. To learn how we can make reliable measurements in order to improve our understanding of our planet. Hi, I'm Thomas Hobiger, Associate Professor for Space Geodesy at the Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden. In the first part of this course, you will learn about several ways of measuring or sensing planet Earth. Global navigation satellite systems, for example GPS, can be used to measure changes of the Earth's crust. Volcanic eruptions can have a significant effect on the climate. The outgassing can be measured using remote sensing. Atmospheric gases can be studied using remote sensing data acquired from aircraft and satellites. Forests play a central role in the global carbon cycle. Biomass and forest changes can be mapped using space-borne radar satellites. Are you ready to start sensing planet Earth? You're just a click of a button away from making a difference. We could use all of your energy and drive. You're most welcome to join this course.